It's been more than a half century since astronauts journeyed to the moon. Well, folks, that's about to change. Standing in Houston, Texas, before the current astronaut corps and veterans of the Apollo and space shuttle programs, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson introduced the four-member crew of Artemis II, Christina Cook, Victor Glover, Reed Wiseman, and Canadian Jeremy Hansen. This is humanity's crew. Reed Wiseman is mission commander for Artemis II, while Christina Cook and Jeremy Hansen will serve as mission specialists. Cook is set to make history as the first woman on a lunar mission, and Hansen as the first international astronaut to take such a journey, something NASA Administrator Nelson emphasized during the announcement. We choose to go back to the moon and then on to Mars, and we're going to do it together. Because in the 21st century, NASA explores the cosmos with international partners. Victor Glover, a U.S. naval aviator, will pilot the Orion spacecraft on the 10-day round-trip mission around the moon, testing the functions of the systems and equipment that future crews will use to eventually return to the lunar surface. In an interview with VOA before last year's Artemis I mission, Glover said he embraces the historic opportunity to be the first person of color assigned to a moon mission. People keep asking me, you know, is it meaningful to you that little black kids look up to you and, and say they want to be like you? You know what, let's be honest, I represent America. I'm a naval officer and I work for NASA. I represent America and little white kids, little Mexican kids, little Hispanic kids, little Iranian kids uh, follow what we're doing because this is maybe one of the most recognizable symbols in the universe. Not only is the makeup historic, the crew of Artemis II could also venture farther in space than any humans before them, traveling over 1 million total kilometers in a path that extends well beyond the moon before returning back to Earth. NASA says the exact distance and plan depends on a number of factors, including the date of the actual mission launch. At the end of the NASA ceremony introducing his crew, Reed Wiseman expressed the determination of the agency to further its goals in space, despite repeated delays and cost overruns. Three words that we keep saying in this Artemis program, we are going, and I want everybody to say it on three. One, two, three. We are going! NASA hopes to launch Artemis II as early as November 2024, with the first mission to the lunar surface as early as 2025. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago.